Are you serious right now? I swear to God, I'm gonna be pale till fucking June. Another day, another dollar, another pound bigger. Today, since it's kind of a gloomy day out there, and I've been leaning out very, very well, I've been going about week and a half, almost two weeks now since I've had a big cheat day. Today I'm gonna have a if it fits your macros cheat day. I'm gonna shoot for about 80 fat and other than that, I'm gonna keep my protein within a good area but I'm just gonna kinda let loose in every other faction. I've been shooting for about 30 to 50 grams of fat throughout my lean. So my whole plan for today is that I'm not gonna show you guys my workout or anything. I'm just gonna show you guys what I eat and when I eat and how I'm gonna fit that into my day and make it a cheat day. I'm all cleaned up here from yesterday as you can see and I actually trimmed up my hair myself this morning and it doesn't look too bad actually. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Pretty much all ready to go for the morning. Still gotta make up my pre-workout and then just head off to the gym. I got heavy legs and then I'm probably gonna head off to the Family Circle restaurant once again and get myself a double cheeseburger and maybe a beer or two. I'll see how everything fits onto my fitness pal and fits into my macros for the day. I Normally when I do cheat days, I just let loose. I eat whatever the hell I want. But because I wanna keep staying lean, I'm really gonna pay attention to my fat and really make sure I track today. So you guys are gonna follow me along on a full day of If It Fits Your Macros cheat day. So it's 1.55 there, I'm finally all done, heavy legs at the gym and I'm starving, exhausted. Back at the Family Circle restaurant for my first meal of the day, double American cheeseburger, poutine, beer number one, yum. Here's where we're at after meal one, 54 fat, 65 carbs, 56 protein, for a total of... 1,320 calories. We're all done at the Family Circle restaurant. I'm nice and full, feeling the beers. It's a great day. Nice and sunny now. Just gonna soak in the sun for a bit. I might actually go lay up on the roof. Feeling pretty good. You know what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go pick up some Sour Patch Kids. Oh yeah, cheat day, I gotta. So, headed to the variety store. And I'm headed home, and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. It's such a beautiful day now, it's not snowing, it's not raining. I think I might go lay up on the roof. We'll see how it goes. If you follow along my journey as an Hungarian experiment, you must be like, God, Peter, you love that Family Circle restaurant. You love Dandies. It's not that I love these places, well I do, they make great food. But on top of that, they're local businesses. I'd rather support my city. I'd rather support people who live in my city rather than giving my money to some big corporation like Denny's, like McDonald's, and all the profits just going to some asshole who's sitting in his house in Florida or in Jamaica or something. So I'd rather support these places where I know that the boss lives here in London. That money gets spent here in London or within Ontario and the process goes round and round. It supports me just as well as it supports everyone around me rather than somebody who doesn't even live in our city. So support local is the best way to go. Could this day get any better right now? I don't think so. All gone. 1,200 calories, 288 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of protein. Already over my calories for the day. If you know me as the Hungarian experiment, right now because I'm leaning out, I'm shooting for about 2,300 to 2,500 calories. But it's the cheat day, so unlimited carbs, 
Just getting the fat and protein where I want it. I decided that I'm gonna take my fat from 80 to about 85 to 90 grams of fat. It is a lot, but I looked at my calendar there and tomorrow's gonna be a rest day. So instead of doing rest day, I decided I'm just gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna do a good stretch out and then do a whole bunch of cardio, maybe like an hour to an hour and a half worth of cardio. So that's basically gonna burn off the Sour Patch right here. But oh, I'm gonna accept about five to 10 more grams of fat for today and then see how my body looks tomorrow and over the next couple days because this is probably the leanest I've ever been. So I'm really experimenting to see how this cheat day is gonna affect my body. All ready for another day at work. I'm still a little undecided with what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna head off to Metro right now, probably pick up like a cake or some pastry or something. Definitely keep it in my fat and hopefully leave some fat left over for later tonight. Don't think I'm gonna hit my protein intake for the day. So I'm having my first protein shake in about a month and a half a month and a half yeah without having any protein shake just eating like meat or getting my protein straight from whole natural foods so I'm gonna slam this back cause it's only five grams of fat five grams of carbs and I believe 60 grams of protein so a lot of protein in this to make up for what I'm missing with all my cheap food and still keeping the carbs and fat low so that way I can eat other food and enjoy myself let's see what I get at Metro running out of time at Metro here Trying to find something that would fit my fat content. Banana, cupcake with cream, some pita chips. I'll have that with the protein shake. Then I have unlimited carbs for the rest of the night, probably some pop. And we'll see what else I can imagine up. Maybe have some treats for tonight. Number two, I'm gonna have two more of these tonight. These chips suck. Obviously, what was I thinking, getting pita chips low in fat to taste good, but I'm gonna eat about half the bag and then save the rest for another day. 147. Yeah, that's at nighttime. Finally home from work. This has probably been the longest shift I've worked this whole year so far, but gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I made a lot of money tonight, so it worked out well. So because I worked an extra two hours and I did a whole bunch of running around and because I had my cheat day I'm actually kind of hungry right now My stomach feels very expanded from all the food earlier and all I had at work was a whole bunch of pops So I still have two cupcakes here and the protein shake and I stopped at Metro on my way home Got spaghetti with meatballs and a whole bunch of pulled pork and that's gonna be all my food for tonight so I'm gonna munch this all down, hopefully finish around 2.30. And as I told you guys earlier, my game plan for tomorrow is that it was supposed to just be a rest day from the gym, but I'm gonna go to the gym anyways and just do about an hour to an hour and a half of cardio just to burn all this sugar out of my veins and out of my system. And that'll be pretty much it. So I'm gonna show you guys my fitness pal here to show you a full day of intermittent fasting if it fits your macros cheat day. All right, so cheat day is all done, and I'm finishing at 4,777 calories. Now, that's not a lot for my typical cheat day. As the Hungarian experiment on my cheat days, I usually hit about 7,000 to 8,000 calories, but that's because I get a lot of fat on those days. As you see here, I hit my range. I went over by 3 grams, so 93 grams of fat, 178 grams of protein, and 677 grams of carbs. Now, if you want to know anything about macros, Per one gram of protein and one gram of carb, you get four calories. So in every gram of carbohydrates, there's four calories. In every gram of protein, there's four calories. In every gram of fat, there's nine calories. So if you have 100 grams of fat, you have 900 calories. If you have 100 grams of carbs, that's only 400 calories. So there's a big difference between protein, carbs, and fat. And just so you guys can see that I'm not cheating here, we'll go look through all the food. So the two Budweiser's, the burger, the big bag of Sour Patch, the poutine that came with the burger, all the pop I drank tonight, the half bag of chips, the two cupcakes, protein, spaghetti and meatballs, and the... Thank you very much for watching. Please go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. I am the Hungarian Experiment, and I'll see you guys next week.